Okay, here's a quick video on how do teams develop. And the theory we're going to use it was by Tuckman in 1965. So Tuckman came up with some quite cool uh, phraseology to help you remember a four-stage process. So first of all, Tuckman came up with forming, which is the coming together of the team. It's when the team starts to really come together and form as a team. Storming is the generation of ideas, systems, roles, responsibilities, etc. I often link that back to brainstorming. So it's about knowing what your role is, where you sit, etc. Norming is the, the practicing or the uh, creating rituals and routines or as they call it in the sport, sometimes creating muscle memory. So you know who's going to be where on your team without even having to worry if they're there or not. The performing is the whatever it is that the team was brought in to do, to reenact. That's where Tuckman finished. A few years later, Jensen got in on the thing and they came up with this system called adjourning, which is kind of the review and dissemination of the knowledge. So, you know, the team might be split up, but all the lessons learned would then refocus into the forming for the next time round. It's drawn as a linear process, but it might actually be more cyclical. There might even be feedback loops between from a joining back into a storming or a norming idea. Once you've normed, you might realise you don't have the right kind of people, so you might go back to the forming system. So let's have a look how this forming, storming, norming, forming and adjoining works in some movie situations. Start off with my old favourite team movie there, of Pitch, or my current favourite team movie, Pitch Perfect. So the forming there, that's a screen grab from when they were doing the... Um, auditions. So they got everyone down and they did the auditions and then the various um, a cappella groups on campus would pick the people from the auditionees. The storm in there, we can see the Bard and Bellas sat in one of their um, meetings where they would be told who's doing what, uh, how often they're going to practice, how often they're going to rehearse, etc. The norming there, we can see that's one of the pivotal moments when they go back to the uh, hollowed out swimming pool and they really find, in inverted commas, their sound and they really kind of uh, work out who does what, where each role is, um, you know, who should do uh, what role within the group. And then finally there, the performing, we have a screen grab of the actual final, the Bad and Bella's final song. Uh, we don't know if they had any adjoining, because obviously that's where the film finishes, but we do know in Pitch Perfect 2, they went on to win the thing for the next three years, so one would hope that they learned from it, and it reshapes their forming for next year. If we look to a more... Um, a different type of movie which is a bit more realistic in teams as well we can then look to remember the titans and this is the way that it happens for a lot of teams so the forming there is when they were uh, they all the people that wanted to go to uh, play football american football in the uh, school system they would all meet in the um, the hall and that was therefore where they give the quick debrief on who does what when Storming there, now we can see that they're at camp now and the coach there is putting them through their paces so that they really know and they're really practicing certain things. The norming there, this is, um, it's a very bad screen grab, but this is the point where we to see the two main uh, young leaders there come together and start to work together as a team and that's where this, uh, if you just Google kind of left side, strong side, you can see that little scene in its full entirety. And then performing was when they actually win the state championship. I think they go on to to win the perfect season or something. Then uh, thirteen and zero, a perfect season. Once again, there's no adjoining because we don't know what happened after then. But one would assume they learn the lessons, and they move forward. Because uh, uh, like at the end of most good films, it tells you what happened next to each person. Because uh, apparently this is based on a true story. So how do teams develop? We remember the simple kind of little nice bouncy phrase: forming, storming, norming, performing. And then if we want to look at how you can develop for next time, we add on the joining.